Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Tuesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, daily chart of the ES, and yesterday we talked about a channel trade, and that's exactly what we had. You had the second standard deviation lower band acting as resistance, and the third standard deviation lower band acted as support. Um, the bounce off of 67 <clears throat> was a good test of the lower band, excellent test of the 100-day exponential moving average, and a test of this 38% FIB level here. So, um, where do we go from here? Um, I think the best thing to do, and you can see these bands now. We talked about how these bands are flatlined. You can see now how they've come up off that line. Um, this is we discussed Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of last week and Monday. So, 67 was a nice level. I was actually able to get that out um, on Twitter to, to everybody and it turned out to be you know 18 to 20 handles from there so I hope everybody took advantage of that one um, now going back to August and I'm gonna keep analogizing to this because it is played out very well you had the break from the tight bands you had the big down day you had a channel day here channel day number one and then channel day number two okay so fast forward to now we tighten up. Okay. Um, we are up about eight handles this morning. And I mentioned in the chat room, and I've mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned it here on the webcast, is the trademark of a lower Bollinger Band ride is that you have AM highs that die, okay? And that certainly seems to be what is setting up here. Uh, we're trading up in the Globex, and it's a high that, that's just dying to be sold. So we'll have to see what kind of a further push we can get up through. Um, but then I'm expecting weakness today, and I'm expecting a second channel day. Um, now, after we get through two channel days, now we have to start thinking about, you know, what... Um, what a sustainable balance is going to look like. So we'll start talking about that into tomorrow. If it's just if it's just a very short band ride, three days, then this may be the start of a sustainable bounce. But the odds are we stay down for another day. Um, on the upside, you have to look at yesterday's high up at uh, 1792 as an area that the bulls have to conquer in order to get up towards this double fib area. 1797 77 to 1800 okay round number 1800 is going to be a big one and um, those are 92 and 1800 are two big levels for the bulls to get through on the downside obviously you've you've got 67 and you've got the overnight lows that came in around um, 72 so you had 67 you had a higher low at 70 yesterday then we traded as high as the 88s, pull back um, slightly. Uh, well, not not slightly. We pulled back about 10 handles. We were able to catch uh, in the chat room. We caught a short after that long, so it was a nice day. Um, but the 71, 72 area is going to be key, and then we get back to the 67 lows. If the Bears want to do anything significant, they're going to have to get through 67. And by getting through 67, then you start to look at the 1754 lows, which are the lows from back um, December 16th. Okay, and it's basically the starting point of this leg up to 1846. Okay, everybody have a fantastic day. Uh, Check us out on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website. Come check out the chat room. Come take a trial. And I will be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well.